Thanks for joining us for This Week in Odyssey, where subscribers to Odyssey, the print MIS for marketing ideas for printers, can discover what's new in Odyssey and learn about the best practices to use Odyssey to its fullest. Let's get started. All right, well, welcome to This Week in Odyssey. Um, we're gonna be pre presenting these webinars every other Wednesday morning. Um, depending on where you're located, it could be uh, noon. Um, so please note the time change to 11 a.m. Central. Um, so hopefully no one saw me jiggling with my uh, audio down here. It wasn't showing on or showing up on my side, so I was trying to ensure that that was showing up for you folks as well. And the best news about that is no one had to listen to me humming again this week. That's right. We had to do that two weeks in a row because I failed to do my due diligence. But uh, we got the video going, so uh, thankfully, uh, yep, we got to listen to that. Um, so let's see. Should we start out, Dave, and get hopping into it here, I think? Let's make it happen. All right. All right. So before we get into some uh, heavier talk, um, I thought I'd go over that our Odyssey release notes, um, they are still being released every other Monday. Um, we just changed the week for this webinar to give ourselves um, a little extra time to review them before presenting the information to our viewers. Um, and for those of you that maybe have not been on a webinar yet, or you maybe haven't viewed any of the ones that have been saved, um, I wanted to mention um, the help menu um, in the upper right of the main Odyssey dashboard. If you select that, you can go to three different locations. If you click view Odyssey documentation, um, you're simply taken to our online version um, of the Odyssey release notes, and I'll be going Um, uh, the second drop down in the Odyssey release notes, or I'm sorry, the help menu is the Odyssey release notes. I'll be going over that a little bit. And the third one is open a support ticket. Um, so if you select open a support ticket, you'll be taking to the help center of your website where you can uh, start a ticket and ask us questions or whatnot. Um, so not to helm that again, but we feel that that's pretty important for those that maybe didn't know about the help menu and what it can do. Right now, those are the three main sections that you are taken to. All right, and speaking of the Odyssey release notes, um, we have a few improvements that we thought were uh, worth mentioning that have happened over the past few weeks. Um, and again, this is found from the Odyssey release notes. Um, these are dated this past Monday. Um, I won't read or go over every single one, um, but the first update um, that I wanted to mention is that for an order form, um, previously, it was either a little tricky or it wasn't as uh, easy to get to, um, but now we have the ability, or you have the ability, I should say, to give your print buyers the option if they want to select black over black. Um, that's going to be done in a um, ink question, and of course, I'm trying to, to show you that color picker question here to see if I can show that black over black, um, and here it is. We now have this black over black if that's something that you would like to show to your print buyers. Um, previously, that wasn't enabled or wasn't available, um, so now that could be an option um, in pretty much any order form that you feel fit to use that black over black option. Um, the second update that I wanted to mention, and this goes back to, I guess you could say Friday, we had um, a little hiccup in Odyssey where the component wizard um, was not pricing and there was just some things going on that were disrupting um, creating estimates. And that was a hot fix that we were actually able to put out pretty much immediately in the afternoon on Friday. Um, it was a rapid response, and a lot of that has to do with Odyssey being in the cloud, and we're able to jump in immediately. And, and just to keep us aligned on that, and, it, it, and correct me if I'm wrong, Trish, but I think that was probably, at, was it two Fridays ago when that one happened? Yes, it may have been two Fridays ago, I apologize, but it yeah. was on a Friday nonetheless that um, may not be as convenient for folks, but we were able to quickly diagnose that issue. Yeah, I just want to make sure everyone could coordinate their calendars if you wondered, hey, what what happened and when? So that's that might have been the event there for you. Yep, that's referencing um, this component wizard, not pricing. Um, but yes, with Odyssey being in the cloud, um, we're able to jump right in there pretty much at any time and um, take a look at what may be causing your issue and get right down to the root of it. So um, we're thankful that we're able to 
host such a wonderful software in the cloud for the, for that reason as well. Yeah, that that really is a big deal. That's that's one that I I have a a pretty healthy amount of passion for that. Uh, just knowing that it is in the cloud. Um, you know, if you think about the process that um, kind of legacy software, if you think of um, making um, fixes like that, you know, if something is discovered that really needs to be adjusted right away. You know, that's such a huge benefit. You know, legacy software, we would have to make the fix, then distribute the fix, and then on your side, you have to install the fix. And, um, you know, there's just a lot of handoffs that that, um, that that could get a little bit dicey on all those handoffs, potentially. That's the big benefit, one of the big benefits, just like you've said, and I just want to hammer that point a little bit, too. Having it in the cloud, you just know that that fix shows up without you having to lift a finger, and um, life goes on. Yeah, thank you for going into that a little bit more. But, yeah, that makes it a little bit easier, like you mentioned. Um, so on to um, our main uh, feature that has been updated the past couple of weeks is what we have called a simplified accounting menu. And that's where I want to spend most of our time or the rest of our time today is going over what that looks like, what is in each of those categories. And then I took some screen captures of prior to have a little comparison. Um, so let's go a little bit deeper into what we've done so far into accounting. And if you are not familiar or maybe you haven't been in accounting yet or haven't needed to go there, on your Odyssey dashboard, it may look a little different than this. It's going to be an icon. It looks like a calculator and it says accounting. So I'm simply going to click on that icon and I'm taken to the main accounting page. Um, right away, for those of you that have been in accounting previously, you're probably going, whoa, there's some things that have changed. And indeed, the left side menu are the things that have changed and that I will be going over. Um, and as I was mentioning, um, I took some screen captures of what it looked like before and after. So um, let's get into that. So right now at the top, um, Odyssey has the invoicing screen. Um, so if I select invoicing, the screen that's being shown right now to the right is pretty much the same. We didn't really change too much of it. However, um, I'm going to put here side by side. Here's a screen capture of what Odyssey looked like just a couple weeks ago. As you can see, here's the invoicing mixed in with other items, other tabs. You know, maybe it was confusing. You're not sure. Um, we now have, as you can see on the left, accounts receivable with four tabs underneath them. Prior invoicing was kind of mixed in with some other tabs. Um, so we felt that it'd be best to streamline some of these tabs and put them under their proper headings, would you say? Um, so this just happens to be old invoicing right here and new invoicing here in your current Odyssey installation. So it's also probably worthwhile mm -hmm. saying that you know, the, the, the functions really from that big picture haven't changed. It's just a lot more clarity on what is where and how to get there. Yes, thank you. I should have mentioned that, but he is right. Deep down, the uh, functionality hasn't changed, but it's the aesthetics, um, the look, and maybe where to get to what you want. Um, we try to make that a little bit more streamlined. Um, okay, the next one I wanted to go into, um, this was called, let me call up. Originally, it was called credit adjustment entry. So here's the old one again. And what I have highlighted on the left of this image is credit adjustment entry. Now, on the left, that is called credit memos. So as I put these side by side, without squishing too much, again, credit memos is under the main accounts receivable. Before, it was bunched in with some other things. Again, what is on the right side of this is the same. It functions the same, but we thought it'd be better to streamline this, call it something different, give it an image, um, and hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier for what you're looking to do. So credit memos, adjustments, credits under credit memos now. So old, again, we won't hone on it too much, but the new and improved here on the left. That is what we call the AR credits adjustments. Another location, um, <clears throat> let's see. Let me go to AR statements, okay. 
Um, here's another one. Now this did not change from the prior uh, installation of Odyssey, but again, we've streamlined that so that now it's under accounts receivable. We feel that that's a tab that belongs under this tab and none of these other ones under here. So now we have invoicing. We have statements where you can specify a company and view a report. We have your receive payments, <clears throat> AR enter payments. Um, here is an image of what it looked like prior under payment entry. We've now renamed it called receive payments because you're receiving your payment from your client or customer. Again, what is on the right hand side has not changed on how you enter anything, but where you go on the left hand side, what it's called, that has a slight name change to hopefully make it a little bit easier for you. So the AR enter payments account receivables, also known as we called it receive payments, has also changed. And the last one that I did go over again is the credit memos. A uh, little different look, a little different name. Again, how you process the information has not changed. That is um, the top accounts receivable section. Now, another one that I will get into is the purchasing. Now, this was not called purchasing before. Um, as you can see here, um, vendors, um, purchase orders, items, set on hand values, they were actually split up into different sections under inventory or accounts payable. Um, we put all four of those now under the purchasing tab or the purchasing section. So you can still select these and go to their respective areas, um, but we felt that these four main tabs is referring to or referencing purchasing. Um, so hopefully that um, helps a little bit or streamlines maybe the location for anything that has to do with, deal with purchasing for those that um, go into the accounting section. One of the also uh, important sections is called um, reports. Now, the one that I just had pulled up, here is, I'm gonna make this larger because this is really important. Here's a report, here's four more reports, and here's two more reports. So as you can see on the old, uh, left hand side they were scattered about in different sections and this one didn't even say report okay so now if we look at Odyssey today we have a report section all seven reports are neatly in here they are all named with the name report at the end and we have a little bit of explanation of what the report does or what it means um, so Instead of being sales transactions, we actually put the name report at the end so that you know it's a report. If you select run, it'll still take you to the same location that the prior buttons did on the old um, navigable uh, left-hand side. Um, but again, they're named a little different and it talks about what they do. So sales report, again, you can group by, create a report, uh, export. So these function the same, but we felt having them all in one location makes way more sense. And then let's tell our users what they are. So this was a pretty important one that we felt we really needed to show you uh, the full picture here. So again, old way, scattered about, yeah, they're there. New way, they're all lumped together into reports. I think it makes it a little bit easier personally, and we hope that you do as well. Um, so that's the report section. And again, Work in progress, there'll still be some tweaks probably here and there to fine tune, but overall, um, this is the way that we're gonna be going with how this looks. Um, the next section um, is called uh, your company. Um, so underneath the your company, um, and I'll show you what this looked like before again. <clears throat> Hopefully I went down that far. Oop, let me go to this one. So we had the old way again. Um, we had account settings. We simply had chart of accounts and what was called advanced settings. And that's fine. It was w under what was called account settings. We called it your company. And now we added set starting balances because this is referring to your company. You need to start your starting balances. This is when you might be um, entering previous invoices and other transactions to bring Odyssey up to date with your previous accounting system. Um, again, I won't go too deep into this. But the set starting balances is where you go to start in importing these lines or adding these lines. 
um, chart of accounts. Still there, still a uh, chart of accounts, but again, we gave it a little this uh, image and you're taken to your chart of accounts. And the last one under your company is advanced settings. Um, again, the same look, the same feel, it's taking you to how do you want to track your account periods, what's the first month of your fiscal period, and so on. So instead of having what was only two items here at the bottom previously, which was just chart of accounts and advanced settings, we thought that it would be beneficial to add set starting balances for your company as a location to click on. Now, also within this accounting, uh, left-hand sidebar, would you say, there's a little arrow here. If you want to collapse that and make this take up even more of your screen to do what you need to do, please feel free to click that arrow. Collapse that sidebar. There's still the images. And when you hover over those little images or tabs, it still tells you what these mean. So maybe you always want to work in the collapsible um, toolbar or sidebar. You can certainly do that. Maybe you still like to see what each one of these is called along with the image. Um, you can do that as well. So we have this set up for you to determine what you like to see and maybe how much room you need on your screen. Um, up here, we left this at the top. This is where you can set your current period, um, your default accounting date, and so forth again. So we left this at the top as that is probably number one where you want to make sure your periods are set in your accounting. Um, but after that, you're able to go into the different sections um, of our updated accounting menu. And feel free, again, if you haven't seen this or maybe you haven't really spent any time, feel free to maybe get a feel for it, get used to it. Um, like I was mentioning, or maybe I haven't um, mentioned quite yet, um, this is just a small snapshot um, of a larger initiative of what we're doing in the accounting section to streamline our user experience. So look for more um, changes to come. Not going to say they're drastic or not, but we are anticipating changes that will streamline the experience, make accounting, I guess you could say easier or more user friendly. I don't want to say it's difficult now per se, but we just want to make this a little bit easier experience for those that are going to be invoicing. You're going to be entering payments in Odyssey. You know, those that are going to be spending time in accounting, you know, they're going to want it to function like an accounting area. We feel that this is what's going to hopefully accomplish that. Yeah, this is really, really good stuff. Um, did you have more to say, Trish, or should I hop in here? I can't remember. Was there more show and tell that you had? Um, you know, I really didn't have any more. I just wanted to go over all these different tabs on the left and mention how now we have them put it in their little different sections, would you say, and we can collapse the toolbar or the sidebar so that your screen can be made a little bit larger. Oh, there's another thing I should mention. At the top, you still have the ability to reprint your past invoices. Um, you can void an invoice. Um, you can customize an invoice, and you can also view your invoice history. Um, so these are also options that we are going to keep. Um, so for now, they're still at the top, so please don't uh, worry about that. They are still there under the invoicing section. Um, I should also mention under some of these other tabs, we still have the same options at the top that was in a prior, um, the prior look of Odyssey, so you can customize your statement up here and so forth. Um, so those options are still at the top of the respectable tabs here. Yeah, really, really good stuff. And uh, I guess uh, normally at this point, uh, we, we kind of did a little role reversal. Usually uh, I, I tend to find a topic to go deep on, <laughs> and uh, and you did that today, which is really, really good. And uh, did such a good job showing us, taking us through those different areas. And I guess the part that I'd like to add on, and in a way, it's kind of the flip-flop of what we talked about earlier when we talked about that the ability to um, to throw out that hot fix just in a matter of hours, if needed, or even minutes, if if uh, if, if it really comes down to that. Um, that's one way that, as our development team works on things, that's one way of getting information into your hands or getting new updates into your hands or your your installation of Odyssey. But what we're talking about here today uh, really is kind of the flip side of that. And uh, if we take a look at Odyssey, you know, there are things that we do quickly, and there's th uh, things that uh, just keep adding to Odyssey. But we're in kind of a, a different, uh, different rhythm right now where we are just kind of taking a little bit of a pause. And that's why we didn't show you anything big and bold and new 
from a functionality standpoint, the big and bold and new is just kind of the layout of it here. And so oftentimes I've mentioned how we work in these two week development cycles. Well, we are in a few of those, and that doesn't mean that it's just that cycle. We can string a few of those two week development cycles together. And, and, and that's what you're seeing here. Uh, you're seeing this interface cleanup show up as part of this cycle. And as Trish has already alluded to, there's gonna be more of that coming. Uh, where we're going to continue to bring more clarity and more attention to the flow of areas in Odyssey, and specifically right now in this season, the accounting section of Odyssey, because honestly, if you don't have a way to get the money for all of that hard work you're doing, what's the point, right? Uh, so <laughs> we want to make sure that that path is right there for you. Um, it's a big deal. Uh, the interface part of that, uh, we can get a lot of big, bold ideas, but unless it looks and feels right, it's uh, it's not maybe the the area we need to focus on. Uh, maybe said that a little awkwardly. We, we want to make sure that the look and feel of the interface matches the big, bold ideas that show up in Odyssey. And so that's where we're at right now. We're in a little bit of that uh, rhythm where we're just kind of saying no and taking a pause on any of the big, bold, new stuff and going back to the things that are already there, bringing more clarity, bringing more attention to that workflow. And today you've seen uh, some of the results of that, uh, just, uh, just even by focusing on that left bar of the accounting section. You can expect more of that to come in the weeks ahead. So... Trish, I do thank you for sharing all of that good news, um, that kind of the updates on that. You just really did a really nice job showing the befores and the afters and how that affects everyone. So I thank you for your attention to detail and in, in making that happen. Yeah, thank you, Dave. Um, and just to expand a little bit more on the two-week cycle, um, as you'll see in the Odyssey release notes, um, generally every two weeks, we will update the date to reflect the every other Monday that will also talk about or mention the features that I will probably be talking about. So that just um, kind of goes along with the every two week release cycle. Um, we might start seeing maybe just one or two features instead of a slew of them, like Dave said, because we want to make sure the interface is also functioning and makes sense to our users. So continue to look for the releases. They'll be updated every other Monday. But with that said, every other Monday, this is actually our last webinar for 2018. Um, our next This Week in Odyssey webinar will be on January 9th, and so we just hope everybody has a blessed and safe Christmas and New Year's, and we will be saving these as well as future, um, or I should say past webinars if you haven't had a chance to view them. Um, certainly uh, take the time if you have any and look at any of the webinars and see if there's anything interesting that you can pick out of there to learn or have more questions on. Um, so with that... Um, thank you for joining us during this edition of This Week in Odyssey. Just remember to stick around till the end for a quick survey. Thank you. For those watching live, stick around for a two-question survey. On behalf of the whole team at Marketing Ideas for Printers, thanks for joining us.